Let's get straight then to the CNBC TV Teen exclusive. In his book, uh, Mind Without Fear, due, due to be published this week, former McKinsey chief Rajat Gupta reveals the story of how his career and reputation came apart. Let's listen in to an exclusive conversation he had with CNBC TV Teen's Shireen Bhan. To my mind, the way that you've articulated your story, there's a very clear villain in the piece. And it's not Raj Rat Ratnam, at least not, not in my assessment of your story. Uh, the villain in the piece has actually turned out to be the U.S. attorney, Preet Bharara. I mean, you have, you, you speak in, in this book about Preet wanting to go after you, of you being the soft target, of you being held up as the poster boy for everything that was wrong with Wall Street. And you actually, towards the end of the book, have even made peace with uh, Raj Raj Ratnam. Uh, is, this, is this accurate? Have you, have you made peace with him so, and you actually hold Preet Bharara, so, in a sense, responsible for everything no, that went wrong? No, uh, uh, let, me, let me just try to elaborate on that. On Raj Ratnam, I, I met him in prison. We mm. were in the same prison. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I said two things. I just summarized. I said two things to him. One is, I do hold him responsible for my, you know, the reason I was there is some in discreet, discreet things he said, which were complete exaggerations or so on, mm. which is what they used as hearsay mm. circumstantial evidence. I also thanked him for not doing what prosecutors typically do, which is, I'll give you five years off, you testify against Rajat. Mm. He told me, I have nothing to testify against you. So I told them, no. I told the government, I have nothing to, nothing to testify against him. Mm. Why would I testify? Now, for an 11-year sentence, he was getting five years off. That is a straightforward bribing a person, mm. and he didn't rise to that. Mm. I give him credit for that. I respect him for that. In terms of Preet Bharara, I mean, you know, you start with the fact that they have not been able to hold accountable even one, one banker. Banker. Yeah. Now I ask you the question: mm. What is the value of going after me mm. when I didn't make any money? There is no proof of conspiracy, and it has nothing to do with the financial crisis. Mm. Can you hold some? You know, why don't you go after who are the real culprits? They were not able to go after any of them because mm. they were too powerful. Mm. Okay. This is an acknowledged fact. Even right, legal minds write about this chicken shit club of prosecutors mm. who go after people they can win. Mm. So what happens is that the incentives of prosecutors are lined up mm. to racking up wins because they have a political ambitions and they want to say they, you know, he got a huge amount of publicity. Yeah. He's cracking the. Sure. The Wall Street. And there he, may be some truth to no, that. No, no, no. But he didn't crack Wall Street in mm. terms of just the people who really caused the financial crisis. Mm. You know, there has been... And you can catch the full conversation with Rajat Gupta at 10 p.m. tonight only on CNBC TV 18. Remember, you can also log on to our website, cnbctv18.com, for more on this exclusive interview. Okay, all right. Uh, you know, before we go on, I think we had some lines coming on JSPL. Just wanted to tell our viewers that, uh, you know, that restart of that plant that was done last week itself or close to around uh, seven to ten days ago. And uh, this plant was actually shut for the last 20 months. Uh, so it is pretty much factored in there. I think the debt reduction that they were talking about, what was being flashed, was 6,000 crores. Actually, they were guiding for around a 10% reduction. We had the management talking to us here on CNBC TV 18 just two or three trading sessions ago. They said that 10% will be done in this year. So I don't know that 6,000 uh, uh, crore number, is it a gross number? Because in, in net terms, it should be roughly around 4,000, 4,500 crores approximately. Okay, on that note, here is a, we get into a break, but before that, a quick programming reminder, CNBC TV 18 has launched a special initiative in partnership with the National Stock Exchange, where on the 25th of every month, we tell you how investing in stock market or equities makes one financially disciplined. This is a monthly program to inform and educate investors about smart investing and enabling the journey to wealth creation. 
Catch a special coverage all through the day only on CNBC TV 18.